Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this loose flower painting, pink flower painting as I called it. And I think this will be quite simple and fun, so make sure to join in. I think you will love it. First I started with pre-wetting the entire paper and then later on with a mix of olive green and green did some splatters and for this splatters there is only one thing I wanted to mention to keep in mind and be careful about is that that first green splatter you do should be in the position where the top of your flower is going to be because that splatter we will later on use for painting our flowers so that is the only thing you should be careful about every other splatter is just fine after that i painted in the sky with azure and i painted on the right side the left side and the right side stayed white because i do want that part to appear maybe lightened by the sun or maybe some clouds, doesn't matter, but that part I did leave white. After that I painted in the part nearest to the horizon line with olive green and the part near to us with a mix of olive green and green and also did some horizontal strokes mimicking some grass that is maybe not so that is blurred and not so focused. Also after that I've added in the stem for the flower with Mars Brown and also some smaller stems going into the flowers and leaves. After that I've splattered some clean water and then added a little bit of those, well those flowers and while the paper is still Wet because I do want those flowers to bleed slightly into the paper and when dry to look a little bit blurred down and also lighter. So that is the reason why I added them while the paint is still wet and as you can see later on we will add a little bit more of the darker color and painting those flowers and those lighter parts will then just look perfect with those darker parts. Also after that I've added a little bit more of the horizontal strokes in the upper part nearest to the horizon line mimicking maybe some grass or some flowers that are a little bit further in the distance also the grass is nearer to us i was painting again in those vertical strokes and this will also blur down and dry because it will mix in with uh, with the paint that is already on the paper but that is fine we do want some of the grass to be a little bit blurred down I've splattered some white gouache and then also with a flat brush added in some rays, couple of sun rays and as you can see in the final painting when dry they won't be so visible but there will be some notion of those rays and I think that is quite enough. We don't need them to be to scream at us to be so visible but just a little notion is fine. When the paint completely dried I moved on to painting those uh, flowers that this time will be in focus and not blurred and first I started with a little bit watered down paint this is the mix of Mother Lake Red Light and Cadmium Yellow Medium and after painting in them while those parts of the flowers are still wet I'm using a little bit more saturated paint a little bit more saturated mix of those two colors to paint in the part that is near to the stem and well I do want that part to be a little bit darker after that I've used Mars Brown to paint in those smaller stems going from the larger stem central stem to the those flowers and also I left because the flowers are still wet I did leave that paint to bleed slightly into my flowers and later on I also added a little bit of that paint into the flowers because I did want that as you can see right now I did want that part to be a little bit darker and I did also use for that some sepia and I do believe it does give it a little bit more diversity and well looking like they are 3d you know that there are some shadows and they're not so flat also in that part where we did those green splatters i've added in some green flowers maybe they're not bloomed yet they're still to bloom also added a couple of leaves next to the stems and then again a couple of grasses with mars brown 
as you can see also in the final painting that part around my flower is a little bit lighter than the other part that is fine i did actually like how at the end that turned out and just it looks like that that flower is slightly you know lightened there there's just maybe some sun ray falling on them on it and making it uh, that part around it a little bit lighter i don't know i liked it at the end how it turned out also i used this time a script brush to paint in some you know those are some i don't know mustaches maybe not really mustaches but you know those lines going sticking from it and also i did wanted to smudge a little bit more the flowers so use it on the top later on i wanted to add a little bit more of those flowers but this time they would be a little bit shorter not so tall so i've painted in in the sec exactly the same way except for that first a little blurred layer i painted in the same and you know using the same colors only a little bit smaller And with that mix of Mother Lake Red Light and Cadmium Yellow Medium, I also added a little horizontal strokes in at the background, maybe mimicking there are some flowers also there. With White Gouache, I added a little bit highlights on the flowers. That is the part that you can and don't have to do it. If you don't like it, if you don't want to do that, that is fine. Also, I've added a couple of white flowers into the grass and a couple of white grasses and some highlights in our grass and with that i finished this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support and if you do like this video please press the like button share it comment i i love to see your comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel that would also mean a lot to me and without further ado i hope i'll see you next time bye